Did you know that there are four baptisms? Yes, four. John the Baptist combines the baptism of the Jews and the baptism of the Gentiles. But Jesus takes these baptisms forward with the gift of the Holy Spirit. The four baptisms, the ritual washing of the Jews, the proselyte baptism for the Gentiles, the John's baptism for repentance of sins, and Jesus' baptism with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Although each of these baptisms are different, they have something in common. There is always a desire to start something new, a new life as we go forward. So I am Father Firoz Fernandez and uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and I appreciate your support by giving this video a like and sharing this video with your friends. So what is ritual washing? People cleanse themselves of spiritual impurities. This ritual bathing became very important to the Qumran community. In contrast, the proselyte baptism was for the Gentiles who were converting themselves to Judaism. So it was an initiation right administered through immersion. See, both these traditions could have influenced John, but John does something different. Now, ritual bathing was self-administered and often repeated. But we see John administrating baptism as a one-time rite. So the proselyte baptism was only for the Gentiles. Why baptize Jews who are already considered as the people of God? But we see John's baptism primarily directed towards the Jews. All people who came to receive John's baptism, they were Jews from Judea and Jerusalem. So what is unique about John's baptism? John, in combining these two traditions, is creating a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Like through the prophets like John, God calls people to see with new eyes and respond in uncomfortable ways to avoid the harsh judgment. Now John is preaching that the Jews need God's forgiveness and they are no different from the Gentiles and baptism is their first step towards the new life. See, why would people travel to a wilderness to start something new? Why leave the comforts of the city area and go to a wilderness? Now wilderness has a very special significance and connected to a Jewish salvation history. Wilderness is a place, is a point of departure to start something new, a journey to the promised land, a point of starting a new way of life. If you want to know more about the, the location of wilderness and why it is important, check my other video at the end of this video or in the description section below. So what did people do in the wilderness? John was proclaiming a baptism of repentance and inviting people to give up their sinful ways and to return to God. It is not just a feeling guilty. It is not just doing something a little bit here and there. It is a total change of direction, a change of mind and a powerful change in action. And people were ready to do it so that they can be part of something new something big. But John is announcing a new baptism, even powerful than his. See, John was saying, I baptize you with water, but the one who is coming will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Now, people have not seen a prophet as powerful like John the Baptist for three centuries. All people are amazed. And John here is claiming that he is unworthy uh, to prove and to manifest the overwhelming significance of Jesus. So what is unique about the Holy Spirit? It was not the first time that the Jews were receiving the Spirit in the wilderness. During the time of Exodus, God sent His Spirit on the people and the people rested. But Isaiah announced a second Exodus, a fresh outpouring of the Spirit. And that is happening. Many people ask this question, why did John baptize Jesus? The simple answer is to reveal the identity of Jesus as the Son of God. The voice from heaven and the dove descending on Jesus only confirms the identity of Jesus. Now, God's voice is inviting us to listen to Jesus and to observe his deeds. A son means a person who has proved his faithfulness to God, not just a biological descendant. Components of baptism. John's baptism has two components, repentance and forgiveness. Our baptismal liturgy invites us to renounce sin and to start a new life with God's grace. And also, and also through our baptism, we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. When people uh, prepare for baptism, these are the four things that I tell them. 
that you get four graces forgiveness from original sin the gift of the spirit you become a child of god and you become part of the of god's family uh, jesus baptism is an invitation to a new life to be baptized in jesus means to follow him after pentecost peter called the people for repentance to be baptized and offered the holy spirit so though there are lots of people who say why baptize you don't need this uh, but remember the words of jesus to nicodemus unless you are born of water and the spirit you will not enter the kingdom of god and also the last words of jesus that echoes baptism go therefore and make disciples baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit and invite them to obey all that i have commanded you so many people talk about baptism as a means of grace but baptism is a beginning of new life it reminds us of our own baptism we are invited to go to the wilderness to listen to the voice of god to repent our sins and to seek god's forgiveness receive the gift of the holy spirit and to communicate the same blessing to others inviting others to experience the same new life that each one of us have experienced in christ thank you for staying with me and watching this entire video if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button give this video a like and share this video write some comments in this way you are promoting uh, my ministry to proclaim the gospel and see you in the next video